Again, my name is Alexis Hart McDowell. You can find me online at enterpriseesquire.com. Tonight, I am coming to speak to you all about investor friendly title companies and double dry closings in New York, in, in Illinois. Um, I get a lot of questions about investor friendly title companies, and it usually comes after a um, Real estate wealth seminar uh, has come to town. One of the national, one of the many national ones that travel around across the country, um, and people go to these things and they come out, you know, just inspired and have all these ideas and think that they know the way things are going to work when they're real estate uh, investing, uh, becoming real estate investors, and. Honestly, they just don't have the slightest clue. So I always know right off the bat when they start asking me questions via email, like, do you know any investor friendly title companies? Um, you know, do you know anyone that does a double dry closing in Illinois? And I know right off the bat that they went to somebody's real estate wealth seminar and that person most likely was not in practice in Chicago or Illinois and they just have no clue. So I just want to give you all a brief um insight into that and to let you know that no there are no investor friendly title companies in Illinois um, in the sense of who allows double dry closings um, or who do things for investors that they would do differently for just a um, owner occupied um, uh, purchase or sale. Um, first and foremost, all title companies are governed by the same laws, um, the state laws, the federal laws, all of that. And while this concept came about um, several years ago, five, six, seven years ago, because there was a lot of mortgage fraud and title companies that were quote unquote investor friendly um, ended up in court. And litigation and those companies are out of business for illegal practices so um, let's just say that right off the bat that there are no quote-unquote investor friendly title companies they are all governed by the same laws federal and state laws and their own um, regulations so uh, let's just 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 be aware of that okay um, as far as the title company applies to double dry closings here in Illinois double dry closings have pretty much come to a halt and I say pretty much because I haven't seen one in five years so that and I say pretty much because I'm not the only attorney practicing so I don't know if anybody else is doing them but as far as what's coming across my desk there are no double dry closings okay um, and that is because of the regulations again and the um, mortgage fraud that took place and the lawsuits that put uh, some title companies out of business they are um, tightening it up they buttoned it up and they are acting according to the law now. Additionally, on top of that, in the city of Chicago, um, there's a couple of requirements that have to be met, and the biggest one that attorneys are finding is the water cert. So um, the water cert and the Cook County Recorder's Office, you have to have a water cert with each deed, and the water cert has to indicate the buyer and the seller. So um, it, it, and it has to be recorded with a deed. So to do a double dry closing, you're literally having two separate closings. Well, in a double dry, that first closing never actually closes until the money from the second closing um, comes through. But the Cook County Recorder's Office requires the deeds to be recorded in order, in which case you also need a water cert that has the same people's names on each um, that, that match the deed and in order to do that one has to close fully and then you can um, record and then get another water cert um, close that out with the water department and then um, get another water cert for the second closing so um, I tell the real estate investors that I deal with, you know, it's just, it's really not worth it and you're going to get eight up in fees and the second water cert is not guaranteed to come through on the second day. The water department takes 10 business days um, to do water certs and um, while I do certify my own uh, water certs, um, 
through the water department so I can pretty much get a water cert the same day. It's not guaranteed if um, the the first if the first one closed out so early. You just never know what the what the water department is going to require. So um, it's all of those additional fees really doesn't make it worth it in a lot of cases and they're just better off assigning the contracts and that's the the best way to go about it so again the two issues with um, investor friendly title companies is one they are all governed by the same laws federal state and um, regulations and they are not putting their um, next on the line anymore. They are literally we're gonna follow the issue closing protection letters to lenders stating that you know, they're closing this um, deal according to what was required. Um, so it, they're not they're not running afoul of the law anymore. They're not taking any additional risk. They're just not doing it. Um, so there are no investor friendly title companies. They're just regular title companies that handle whatever type of real estate deal that you have, whether it's investment, whether it's residential, whether it's commercial, it doesn't matter. They're just regular title companies. Um, and the second part again is the regulations dealing with um, the city of Chicago and the water certs and Cook County recorder's office and having to record those deeds um, prior to um, being recorded in order prior to the next transaction closing. So those are a couple of things that I have to walk through with um, my real estate investing clients, especially those who are new to the game. And um, they're always kind of <laughs> disheartened to hear that because um, they've, like I said, they've really come out of some real estate wealth seminar that is not local and it's just national. So they keep the information as broad and generic and has, you know, more than one, more than one person um, inquire about, oh, well, can we visit the title company? No, nobody visits the title company. Um, the attorneys choose the title company, and I and I knew that question right again, right off the bat was from someone who went to a real estate wealth seminar. No, they're not going to sit and talk to you. They're closing deals, um, and the attorney chooses the title company anyway. Okay, so that's it tonight. If you all have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I am a real estate attorney here in Chicago. I handle a lot of um, seller side transactions. Um, I mainly handle seller side transactions. So if you're looking to sell, um, I can be reached at enterpriseesquire.com. Thank you for tuning in and I'll be back next week to talk about another topic. Have a great day.